right, I think we're at a place where some things need to be explained now. So what this is that I just built, you saw me welding these up. These are the supports that we're gonna weld in. They're temporary supports that get welded in right about here to hold the frame from shifting while we do our cutting of the frame. After those are welded in, we're gonna cut the frame here at a 45 and we'll cut the frame down here at a straight and that will allow us to weld in our new what we're kind of calling an L piece. So the L pieces are being made over here, that's why it's so loud. Um, and it's made up of one of these and a piece that's somewhere and one of these. There are two 45s that make up a 90 degree angle and that's our straight down from the frame. So what you're gonna see next is, uh, once that's finished cutting, Eric's gonna weld that up into an L and then we're gonna bring it over to the car, mark our spot where we wanna cut it so these fit inside perfectly and then we'll start cutting on the frame. So as you saw, we, we uh, created the two L pieces, that's that, and then we brought one over, the one that's gonna weld into here, and we marked it up, so it's all looking good. And uh, now we're gonna, and then we also welded in this support. So the support is to stop the, uh, once we cut the frame in half, to stop it from moving around, hopefully, fingers crossed. We're gonna go ahead and cut that thing right now, and then we'll weld in our new L piece. If you remember yesterday, the game plan was to build a second support, comes off of here, comes down here, mirrors it down to here, goes past the join, and then blends in right here. That's what we're working on right now. Eric's gonna go ahead and weld that whole piece up. We're gonna build it on the floor, and then we're gonna bring it over and weld it in. We're having some bad luck with our budget tools. Uh, this new bandsaw has broken. It doesn't cut straight anymore, so 
uh, that's a bummer and it's obviously a burden to return tomorrow and our cutoff wheel isn't working very well at all and another cutoff wheel broke but I'm the new bandsaw I'm gonna be working over here with the cutoff wheel just cutting things like crazy Eric's gonna be welding and we'll get them together quickly We've got one side complete. This is what it was supposed to look like. So you can see how it drops down, snugs up right close to that rear subframe, but not too close. Obviously just drops right down and then carries on with the frame rail. We're gonna uh, blend this in right here with another piece, but since the bandsaw is broken, it's just taking more time than it's worth to keep cutting pieces. It's getting late tonight, we need to move on. So we're gonna move on to the other side. Same thing, reinforce, give it the cut, and then we have all of our new pieces cut, so it'll be a big welding session. Well, you know what they say, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing twice. We got it out here on the second time, that's great. We solved the legroom problem. 
Funny enough, the part where it goes up vertically is exactly where the stock 240Z uh, body went up vertically and it has these like box things that they built back there. So we actually, our cabin space will stop in the same space that it, it usually would. It's just we have less firewall. But I have plenty of leg room. I cannot even reach the firewall if I'm sitting back and my back is to those uh, uprights. I can't, I can't even reach the firewall. So perfect, perfect. We solved it. We got the leg room. We figured it out. You guys could probably tell I wasn't really in a talking and explaining type of mood today. I was just in a working type of mood because we've already done this stuff before. And I didn't really want to be like, here's us doing the same thing I talked about yesterday. But Eric and I put in one hell of a hard day. We're both disgusting and bleeding, but we got it done. So that's awesome. Tomorrow, we go to trivia, but amongst other things, we're gonna remount the body to the frame and we're gonna start on the roll cage. I know I've said that for like three days in a row, but we will, we will get started. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like Beast for Build and you wanna help out and support, hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does count. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and all those that are already subscribed. And that's about it. I'm done rambling. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!